so today what we're going to do is um, we're going to replace this connector with a, with a XT60 connector which works on most of my drones. Now um, the reason that you'd replace them is if you had the wrong one on there or uh, they could come with uh, you know empty just where it's just the wire is in you're gonna have to put a connector on or uh, you could just have some damage to the connector maybe um, this you know flew into the prop on your drone and it damaged this or damaged these ends you got to put a new connector on. Now because we're dealing with a live battery I like to work one wire at a time on these connectors. So the first thing I'm going to do is I want to make sure that I have the correct connection on my XT connector. So I like to have a battery that's already connected to make sure that you know I know which one is the positive which one is the negative. So uh, these things are sort of relatively easy to work with and I'm just going to take um, I'm going to take this right here and go ahead and solder up and drop a little bit of solder onto this part right here and that way I have this pre-tinned or pre-soldered so that it's ready to go for that wire when that wire now again like I said I like to um, work with one wire at a time because it is a live battery uh, so that way I don't have to worry about it touching together and, and sort of igniting which wouldn't be uh, a whole lot of fun at this point so let me get this and you need about I would say about an eighth of an inch uh, maybe close to a quarter of an inch off there uh, to fit right in there just about perfect and again we want to um, tin this wire to make it all one clump and a little bit on there now this takes a little bit longer but again you want this process to move relatively fast because you don't want this wire to get too hot onto the battery now the other thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you have uh, your shrink tubing on the battery before you put it on uh, on the battery before you attach it to your connector. Now I like to use two shrink tubings. I use a, a smaller one and a larger one and of course you know I, I like to have the black and the white or black and the uh, red so I have a positive and negative. So we'll, uh, we'll take and put this out of the way and I'll take and use my needle nose because it's good to have this set to about the highest so that everything melts quickly. So when you hold it in place for a little bit because it does take the solder a little bit uh, to solidify after the, after the heat. So you want to hold it in place just a tiny bit afterwards. Now before I move on uh, to actually working with the other wire, I want to shrink this down. So once, once the shrink tubing is on here, I want to heat it down and I want to do it on each side. That way, again, I prevent it from connecting or you know touching together and shorting out. And the reason I like to put two of them on there is just it's just double duty. It just gives it more gripping power, power uh, more holding strength, and it's thicker so that if a prop does strike it, it doesn't go all the way through. Now once that one's on there, now I can go ahead and cut my other one. And I'm just basically going to do the same procedure. Uh, strip it about um, maybe 3 sixteenths. So let's, go, let's go with that number. And again, I'm just going to double check to make sure I have everything correct on that. The red is on the, where the red should be and the black will be, the negative will be where it should be. And now I'm going to tin both of these independently of each other. So first I drop some solder onto this plug and then I heat this up and start putting solder in and around on that. Oops, there we are. And again, and you know, I'm, I'm sort of talking and not thinking far enough ahead, but it's probably easier to put these things on first before you start heating them all up. So 
Um, do as I say, not as I do. All right, so here we go. So it just proves I can't talk and work at the same time is all it proves. And I think I'm going to add a little bit more solder on to this pin down here just to have a little better buffer. And I'll put some fresh solder on there. And again, we'll hold that down onto it. Press it on. Let it melt pretty good there. Get a little bead right on there. And these um, XT60 plugs, they have, they have a nice little groove in there that makes it easy for you to uh, solder to. So again, I will slide on my smaller shrink tubing first. And because that one's generally the toughest one to get on there. And if it doesn't get all the way over it, um, the other one that I will put on there will, the larger one. And again, because I always worry about that stuff, I just double check to make sure that everything is the same and it looks good. And that's all there is to it. So uh, you can put on any connector that you want, uh, whichever one you use. And uh, now this makes this battery. I couldn't use this battery on the drone that I'm flying before, so now I can. So I get more use of this battery just by the cost of the connector. So again, recap. I want to do one wire at a time so that they don't cross the connect and they don't uh, you know short out the battery and larger batteries can actually fuse together so that's why I always want to do them one wire at a time I like to use uh, double the um, shrink tubing just to make it a, a tighter or stronger joint put your shrink tubing on the wire as soon as you clip it uh, is the best way then tin both sides really good get a nice little bead of solder not too much because you don't want it to overflow onto the other one uh, so that it covers the entire end of the battery cable. Tin the battery cable with some solder so that it covers into that and then go on there and put that together like that and with a little bit of solder on the end of your tip, on the end of your soldering iron tip, uh, it will allow it to activate or basically transfer the heat quicker and so it's almost instantaneous and you get very little heat into the wire and back into the battery which heat is the enemy of batteries. So hopefully that helps out and uh, we'll talk some more on different types of soldering in the next video.